something new again in astronomy, an enigmatic rupture in the Earth's magnetic field caused a new type of aurora, according to NASA scientist revelations. Colorful lights adorning the skies at the North and South Poles. They were always thought as being a result of solar particles sneaking through the magnetic field of our planet and colliding with the gases in the upper atmosphere. But the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, spotted three years ago over the Arctic, was caused by something else, Sputnik reports. NASA intern Jennifer Briggs, studying physics at Pepperdine University, described a new type of polar lights, or auroras, and she says that this was caused solely by a crunch in the Earth's magnetic field. The physicist noted an anomaly when studying footage filmed from an island in Norway three years ago and satellite data with the help of NASA scientists. This is according to what the Business Insider reported. This northern lights did not have energized particles from the sun, dance colliding with atmospheric gases of the Earth, thereby producing the magic-looking lights, like other phenomena of the northern lights. When it was spotted, the sun was not showing any heightened activity, for example, solar um, uh, coronal mass ejections and eruptions. So this made them conclude that the lights were caused by something else, by a mysterious compression of the Earth's magnetic field, shrinking suddenly and rapidly. Quote, the really fascinating thing is that nothing came from the sun to smash into it, Briggs said. What prompted this massive but localized compression which looked like something punching and punched into the magnetic field is not clear. The edge of the bubble rushed towards the Earth at about 25,000 kilometers, taking just one minute and 45 seconds. What was this? The edge of a bubble rushed towards Earth. What was this? The researchers suggested that there might have been an unprecedented storm in the area where the solar particles sneak through our protective bubble the magnetosphere, the Earth's uh, magnetic field. What caused the storm is not known. Quote, this motion is something that we have never seen before. This eastward and then westward and then spiraling motion is not something that we have ever seen, not something we currently understand, she says. This is, uh, to me, alarming. Alarming. Uh, uh, and the edge of the bubble rushing towards Earth at 25,000 kilometers took about less than two minutes. Uh, what is this? And the other thing is that the scientists do not know why the Earth's magnetic field is decreasing. They don't believe it will ever be like it is on Mars that has no magnetic field. God forbid. But uh, because that would mean that the solar radiation, cosmic radiation, cosmic rays would be bombarding Earth and basically frying everything that is on our, on the surface of the earth. That's not good news, as you can understand. So anyway, hopefully they'll do more research on this, find out what is causing this. And maybe that has something to do also with the decreasing of Earth's magnetic field. Who knows? Um, so this bubble coming into earth and um, bombarding us, the edge, of, the edge of the bubble rushing towards earth, at uh, 25,000 kilometers an hour and taking less than two minutes to do that is fascinating, mysterious. This is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on 
your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.